Hello guys again. So uh, today I want to do a little review on uh, this Kotek. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's C O T E K. Pure sine wave inverter SP700. And this is pretty much copy of uh, Go Power um, 600, I guess, or 1000. Uh, smaller than 1000, but the 600 I believe they make, <clears throat> and I would think it's exactly exactly same, except the color. This one has a beautiful blue coat, so it looks better, and you would think uh, that it would actually perform exactly same as uh, the Go Power, right? Um, that's not exactly true. This is, uh, I'm very excited about this one. This is actually better than uh, the Gold Power, the 1000 or 1500 that I have. And i show you why. But let's go, first of all, let's go over the features a little bit here. Um, again, in the back is the ground and the uh, power hookup, which kind of sucks um, let me actually show you why not <coughs> I wish they come up with something better than this um, to, to get the screws out is just a totally nightmare when you unscrew them to put them out to, to get these these uh, hook eyes or whatever those eyes connected uh, under the screws so uh, I don't like it and here is the ground and uh, some communication port I guess which I never use and uh, the front uh, let me get set up here again that's pretty good I believe yep and let me get a little screwdriver and uh, GFI outlet, which I really don't like. Power switch, which this is remote, this is uh, just a regular arm. And again, uh, I guess a remote control port and uh, three lights, which uh, one of them is the battery low, one of them is overload, and this is the pure sine wave. Uh, I guess if it goes out of pure sine wave, it will will turn uh, red which uh, uh, never happened to me before and I don't want it to happen to me but uh, that's what the sign says now these little dip switches here uh, first two are the power from 110 volts to 115 to 120 third one is the frequency 50 or 60 Hertz which I don't know why is it there at all complete nonsense and the fourth one is a power saver uh, this unit will take about um, 0.9 amps just to consume uh, the power of 0.9 amps okay but when you turn this thing when you flip the switch on the last one it will go into safe mode or sleep mode and it will wake up whenever it senses the load and it works pretty well it works very well on the go power and it works uh, very well on this one too and this is the adjusting screw again nonsense for the load that you wanted to wake up to okay so let's say you want to wake up to a hundred watt load you would have to dis adjust this uh, screw here um, somehow I guess to adjust 100 watts or I don't even know why is it that that's just completely nonsense also um, and that's about it now I'm gonna set up the uh, the meters here and I'm gonna show you actually why this thing is better than the Go Power which I could not believe it and I'm very excited about it is the sine wave the sine wave is much better on this inverter than on the Go Power, and I'm not gonna 
compare it side by side you can watch my other video which I have about the Go Power Inverter and you will see the difference okay so I'll be right back cheers okay guys so uh, this is my ready setup I'm gonna test the voltage and I'm gonna test the uh, sine wave on this thing okay uh, so let's get it started uh, of course I have a really nice hefty 200 amp breaker on the battery so let's turn that one on turn on the inverter it takes a while to wake up okay now there is no load on it so you see the sine wave is really nice actually it is better than on the uh, than on than on the go power and uh, I'm gonna put a load on it right now I'm gonna put 600 watt load on it okay which is this little heater here so you can see the voltage dip a little bit the sine wave dip but it uh, stabilizes after a while and this is about 600 uh, 2640 watts right in that neighborhood okay and this is 700 watt inverter so it's handling it pretty well and this is amazing that the sine wave is still not uh, crooked like on the like on the go power and I'm gonna throw another 100 watt on it actually I can throw another 100 and then 170 on top Okay, so this is going to be 100. And now 170. Now you can see, you can see the orange warning here on a sine wave, but it's uh, taking the load really good. And uh, there was about, uh, uh, well, at least 200 watts, uh, 200 watts over so it was about uh, 900 watts total let me shut this off and another good thing is that this fan here is most likely temperature sensitive because it's still running and slowing down and the go power the fan will shut off as soon as you take off the load so that is pretty much controlled by the load the, these fans this one is controlled either by the temperature or it has a delay which is much better so this is a really actually better inverter than the go power I have to say that they done something with it that uh, besides the paint job which is really nice that actually makes it better and um, I can show you also how how that uh, save saving mode works so we're gonna switch this last one I don't have the right screwdriver for it but now it's uh, switch to the saving mode and let me show you how that works right now it's on the power is on it's gonna go on okay and uh, it's gonna take a couple of minutes to actually go to sleep oh, right now plus uh, less than a couple of minutes and I was blinking I don't know how this this is set up right now but I'm just gonna throw the 600 watt on it and you can see this actually puls pulsating that's pretty much keeping the uh, capacitors and all the uh, uh, electronics alive, ready to go. Okay, but in real, the power here, and let, we can get to that part too. It's going to be 0 0.03 amps. Okay. So right now we got a zero. It's actually 
zero point zero seven zero five and it fluctuates so compared to the power when it's not sleeping which is 0 0.9 roughly about 1 amp this one is 0 0.07 so that's a very little power usage okay and oops excuse me Mr. Oscilloscope let's wake it up let's wake it up with a little, little power let's see it's gonna wake up with 100 watts it will yeah so it's set up pretty uh, pretty uh, low uh, put a pretty low load okay now if I'm gonna shut the head dryer again it's gonna go back to sleep And notice that it has like a little delay. I'm turning it on right now. Okay, don't watch this because this this is very slow. But this this thing here, I just turn it on. Now it has a delay. I guess it's charging and getting ready. And then it turns on. So that's a very nice feature very useful also if you don't use the power all the time in some cases of course and uh, I guess uh, that's it I'm gonna shut it off and uh, shut the main baker and drink a little beer and stay safe thank you well I decided to throw in a little bonus I'm gonna start the refrigerator on this thing I mean I will try okay the refrigerator the refrigerator takes about 900 watts surge for about a second maybe two and then it's about uh, roughly around 160 watts when it's running uh, but I got a meter hook up to the leads on the battery here and meter so we can calculate what it's gonna what it's gonna take okay so the breaker is still on let's power it up let's see how it's gonna handle that well it sounds like uh, we handled it pretty well and wow my mirror is uh, out of range so that was probably quite a search I don't know why would this be out of range oh I know why because it's a cheap uh, crap actually it wasn't very cheap but uh, it's a crap simple so now we're running on about 14 amps and 14 times 12 it's about 140 that's about 160 watts yeah just like I said so I don't know what is the search but I I measure it I tested it before and the search was uh, around 900 watts when it surges so that was pretty good it starts the full-size kitchen refrigerator without any problems. I didn't actually watch the lights, but I will watch it again on the video if they go into overload briefly or not. Um, and again, voltage is good, 119. I hope you can read that. I don't know about the reflection, but it's 119 volts. Uh, the sine wave is uh, it's really nice it's like one of the best sine waves I have seen from the inverters of course the Honda 
2200i or 2000i generator inverter has the best sine wave ever okay but this is right right uh, behind it so anyway I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, like I said stay safe from the corona I wish you good luck